Okay, so for everyone who's paying attention, they know that media is unreliable. So how do you find out what's true? I have a couple of tips that I use uh, that maybe you can apply. One is seek out individuals, not companies. So maybe Matt Taibbi, but not Rolling Stone. Or maybe Barry Weiss, but not New York Times. Because if you have an individual, then you can hold them kind of personally responsible and you get to trust an individual more than trusting a whole company. Because there are a lot of individuals that run a company and just and they could go off and, and do something that's not reliable. But it doesn't even necessarily just have to be journalists. I think you should find individuals that are experts. When it comes to biology stuff, I look to like Brett Weinstein. When it comes to um, health nutrition stuff, it's Rhonda Patrick. You know, you look for people who are experts in their field and don't have you know, a dog in the fight of like the media wars and trying to get clicks and stuff like that. These are people who devoted their life to these things. So that's one thing is search out individuals, not companies. Another thing is look for the overlap. Look for the overlap of a consensus of the most brilliant people you can find. Okay. Um, look for media sources that are left, right. There are good ones on the left and bad ones on the left. Good ones on the right, bad ones on the right. Um, I like organizations that uh, are, are uh, bipartisan, like uh, no labels or something like that. But take like three individuals. Take like um, Sam Harris. Sam Harris is a liberal, atheist, neuroscientist, okay? And then Ben Shapiro is a conservative, orthodox Jewish political pundit. And then Joe Rogan is a stand-up comedian, martial artist, and podcaster. Uh, that's kind of back and forth on the political stuff. So if the, th the three of them, these are people that I you know, follow to some degree, if the three of them have a consensus, it's probably somewhere close to the truth. So look for individuals, look for experts in fields, and then look for the consensus among brilliant people, and that's the best way that I can kind of steer you toward finding what is true or not.